A chance really worship. What really qualifies this song to be called a worship song? I know there is a lot of rave online about chanting in the Holy Ghost, but what really qualifies a song to be called worship? Now, as a gospel minister trying to rise in ministry, there are certain principles that you must adhere to when trying to minister to people. Otherwise, what you'll be making may just be called noise. In this video, Pastor George Zonwa shares insights into what spiritual worship is and also draws the line between praise and worship song. I believe this video is going to be a blessing to you. Watch to the end and don't forget to subscribe for more. My name is Maurice Sivanos. I attended a class of receiving and writing spiritual songs. And one of the points our teacher made was singing spiritual song is for the manifestation of lyrics. And if not, it's in vain. And so my question is, what if the songs, there are songs that are just sounds, making of sounds, are they also in vain or are they not spiritual? I don't understand what you mean by making of sounds. There are some songs that are just sound. Without saying words, you make sounds. Probably instruments or just sounds from inside. And they don't have lyrics. There is no song you sing. There is nothing you are singing. Uh, for example, if you are playing instrumental music, there is something you are playing. You may not be singing it out. But I don't know if you're making sense. You are playing a, you are playing words, but you are not expressing the words verbally and all that. Now, uh, if you are talking about sounds, maybe you are looking at chanting, like eia and all of that. Are you with me? Now, I don't know what languages those ones are. Uh, some of them are languages of their own right and all that and expressions of what's going on in somebody's heart is still part of worship. Are you with me? It's still part of worship. It's an expression of your feelings. So I don't understand what you mean by sound because you don't go making sounds and calling them music. If you make sound, without words and without lyrics it's called noise noise and music are two different things i don't know if you're getting one sound without meaning is called what noise so it's not music so if he, even if it's a chant it must have a meaning it must have something that is directed at so maybe i'm misunderstanding your question but that's all I can give you unless you can reframe the question. Number I attended the seminar on receiving, receiving and writing spiritual songs. And one thing that was not touched, we know music has different styles. They're called genres or something like that. So is there a particular genre that resonates with spiritual songs? Because somebody like um, Dusi Oyekon does a style and um, Jonathan McReynolds does a totally different style. So is there a particular style associated with spiritual songs or it cuts across all styles? Thank you, it cuts across all styles. And uh, uh, when you are praying or worshipping, there are different moods you are in at different times that all relate to what you are going through. There are sometimes the best worship you can give God is a dance. Are you with me? There are sometimes the best worship you can give him is lying flat on your face. There are sometimes you are singing a worship song and you are crying. There are sometimes you are singing a worship song and you are just excited. It depends on the mood of the person. So you can use any kind of genre, but the most important thing is that you are connected to the heart of God. And every person is different. There are people that find crying different, difficult. Do you know that? Huh? It's not part of their mood. There are people that cry very easily. Huh? It doesn't make them more spiritual than you. It's just who they are. You are not with me. There are women who don't cry. There are men who overcry. What I'm saying, is that true? Yeah. So everybody has their own mood and things like that. So 
And there are people who have medical conditions that hinder them from even crying. Maybe you don't know that. So, different kinds of things. Everybody has to respond to the uh, way he is made and then get the best of God in it. But then, praise the Lord. Uh, people try to make a differentiation between praise songs and worship songs. Uh, there is no difference per se, except on this. It's not in the type, it's not in the sound, it's on simple one thing. That worship is based on the nature of God and praise is based on the acts of God. So when a person is worshipping God, your focus is on his holiness, on his love, on his mercy, and all that. But when you are praising, your focus is major than what he has done for you. That's also whatever genre you're using, that's just the distinction. Are you with me? Okay, let's take the second question. Welcome to City Magnet TV, a platform where we share life transforming content to help you grow in your walk with God. Please ensure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and share this video to be a blessing to others.